Good afternoon to everybody. <clears throat> National Institute of Urban Affairs basically is a research and consultancy organization which helps the decision making process. Now, as you are all aware that Jawaharlal Nehru Urban Renewable Mission uh, is a flagship program of Ministry of Urban Development, which is uh, uh, implementing a program in 65 cities that they have identified. Uh, and an amount of roughly 1 lakh crore, a total amount of 1 lakh crore is being distributed to all these urban local bodies uh, for undertaking reforms and implementing projects in, that, in those areas. Now, NIUA has been an appraisal agency for uh, appraising these reform processes and appraising these uh, local bodies in terms of implementation of these reforms. A memorandum of understanding has been signed by urban local bodies with the state governments and with the central government to, to, to undertake the timeline reform. Now, we have found uh, while appraising these uh, agencies that some cities are doing very well, some cities are not very successful. It's not that they don't want to do but they really are looking for know-how and do-how, how to do it. Now, we found that there are many good innovative approaches which is being undertaken by cities in southern states and cities, some cities in northern states, which somehow has not been replicated. It may not, it, it, it may not always be replicated, but people are not aware of whether uh, what these innovations are, whether they can really take uh, on board these kind of approaches in their own uh, in their own cities for delivering of services. So, uh, for taking view of all these notes, the ministry has undertaken an initi initiative called PAL, which is a peer experience in a reflective learning. It's called. It is basically a cross sharing and learning of experiences between different cities within the NOOM. Uh, at the first phase, we are identifying only 65 cities. Later on, we are trying to upscale this activity to all the cities of India. But what we are looking for is what is it that is being done by the successful cities, whether we can really share those experiences, share those learning with other cities. We have designed a website. We have documented some of the best practices which are being disseminated. We are trying to upscale this activity. We have made agreements with City Alliance and uh, uh, World Bank Institute also to upscale this activity to a larger level by having a solution exchange kind of program between these cities where these cities can interact with uh, with other cities as well as with the state between different states. I I, I have a team here uh, considering on Nilanjana and um, Indu Sanan. I uh, we have we have made a PPT which we would like to. I would request Nilanjana to uh, to show to show how we went about it how these cities were grouped together, how the intra and inter exchange of activity within the cities are being done and how we are trying to scale up this activity to a larger level. It is basically a, a, a pearl activity that we, we call it. Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, I welcome you to this session. And I know it's very difficult to sit here tight after lunch, but therefore I'll try to be as brief as possible and just run through it. Uh, as you all know uh, about JNNURM, uh, Jawaharlal Nehru National Urban Renewal Mission, which was launched by GOI in 2005 with very big ideas and objectives. Uh, while implementing this flagship program, it was realized that knowledge support and knowledge sharing amongst mission cities was a major gap, you know. Uh, not one city would interact with the other and uh, therefore an uh, area of capacity building, an uh, area of knowledge support was needed. Therefore in, uh, therefore, in 2007, Ministry of Urban Development launched a program called Peer Experience and Reflective Learning. This is PEARL. That was the birth of PEARL with an objective to create manageable networks between mission cities for cross-learning and knowledge sharing on projects, urban reforms, and city governance. Uh, now, the mission uh, cities were huge in number. One had to manage it all. So what we did was we had grouped them into five different groups according to their urban characteristics and the urban issues that they were facing. These groups are megacities, industrial megacities, mixed economy cities, 
heritage cities and hill, hill cities. Each group has got a knowledge manager and a knowledge conveyor for themselves who are looking after the activities they are doing. Uh, amongst them, megacities and heritage are doing very good for themselves. This should have been mentioned, therefore I did. Uh, the main focus of Pearl is uh, four, uh, actually in number. Number one, to act as a platform of knowledge share, sharing, uh, provide information on any and everything related to urban development, support outputs of JNN URM in terms of planning and implementation of their projects and reforms, help to set up discussion forums, news guidance, uh, guidance etc., among GNN URM cities, and National Institute of Urban Affairs is acting as the national coordinator for this mega uh, project. Uh, the activities that we really take under this particular project are again four in number. Number one is to operate a website, to document best practices, to publish newsletters, and conduct um, national and group workshops among these group cities. Uh, it's been a nine month span almost now, and in this period we have uh, successfully conducted two national workshops and two group workshops in Hyderabad, Madurai, New Delhi. We are about to uh, conduct the third workshop in the month of February. Uh, we have already uh, uh, launched a portal which is called the Indian India Urban Portal, uh, the ID being www.indiaurbanportal for this very project. Uh, it, it is operational and it is linked.